What's up guys, it's Zalby T from Combat Culture and this is a follow-up video to our previous gym visit to Hard Knocks out in Boston. And with me here today is Jesse from Hard Knocks. Hey guys. So aside from being one of the coaches and fighters at Hard Knocks, you're actually one of the organizers for the women's sparring group. Yes. The women's sparring group is something that um, you guys have done for how long? So we started in, I think, the summer of 2019. Gotcha. And um, in terms of the women's sparring group, what kind of um, birthed the idea of coming up with the group? Yeah, so um, me and another one of the coaches, Liz, at the time we were really the only females that were fighting out of our gym. and. Liz was super high level. I had just started, I might have had like one smoker. Um, and we were really looking for an opportunity to find more females to spar with, you know, get ready for fights. I actually saw Amy Duke post about it from the Watt and I was like, oh, she has a women's sparring group in New York. I was like, that's an awesome idea. We should try to do something for New England. Um, so from there, we reached out to really the only other gym I knew from this area um, and she joined us. So we had like five girls from our gym and then this one other girl from another gym and it started women sparring. And how many, um, how many members do you typically have now joining these events? Yeah, I would say now it's usually up to like 30 girls and we have them from like five to seven different gyms every time all around New England, which is really awesome. And Jesse, before you know, you put the group together. What was the typical um, training experience like? Because, like you said, there just wasn't that many females to train with. Um, so a lot of times, you just we were just training with men, which it's great, except for when they are a hundred pounds heavier than you. And it's really, you know, men don't fight at the same speed as women. It's just a very different look than when you're getting in the ring with another female. Um, so. For us at the time, you know, it wasn't super normal for the New England gyms to be cross training. This is really like the first time in this area where like females from different gyms are cross training. Um, now the demographic is really different, and you know, like we'll we, we often train with another gym from Rhode Island called Pride, and all their girls come here. Um, so it's it's been a really good experience for the women fighters to really grow together as a community. So Jesse, you brought up a good point. You know, I think you know being able to cross train kind of gives you a different look as well because different gyms train differently, mm -hmm. right? Now, early on when you you know first started this uh, started this group, were there any hesitations from other gyms when you reached out? Because you know there's always that that little stigma like, oh, I'm mm -hmm. going to a different gym to train. Should I? Should I? Not? Yeah, I think at first there was definitely some hesitation. Um, so it was really just like two gyms, and then with every event and every post we made about it, it was three, four, and then it just kept growing. And then it really became less about just women that were fighting, training with each other, and more just about women that were just getting into the sport of Muay Thai. Maybe they've never sparred with other women at their gym because they might be one or two of the only ones from the gym. So now we get a really great mix of beginners, high level, it's like a, cold, a total mixed bag of females. And what typically is a sparring event like? Like what can you know, someone joining for the first time expect? Yeah, so I try to run it almost similar to our fighter sparring class. So we start off, we do um, a warm up, and then we'll do some um, shadow boxing just to get the brain moving, and then we'll do some sort of fun drill. So like today we did tags to the shoulder, and then we'll start off with some light boxing, some light kicking, um, and then we'll start to roll into new rounds. What we do a little differently than other sparring events that I've been to is that we try to pair people up for a couple rounds. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, kind of to simulate like you're in a fight and you have an opportunity to learn. So in the first round, it's a completely new person. You've never seen this bar before, but then maybe in the second round you notice they're always teeping, they're always throwing a right kick. So how do you respond and adjust accordingly? I think that's been really, um, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback about that mm -hmm. from our group here. And, yeah. and then we end with, um, we always end with clinch. So like 15, 20 minutes of clinch. Very important. And, and that's something that I did want to highlight about this gym and also the group, especially from what I observed, is that you guys do have, you know, the pairs spar more than just one round. Because, you know, mm -hmm. most gyms you spar around with somebody, then you switch partners. But here you guys do for like two, three rounds, mm -hmm. right? And I think the benefit of that is, like you said, you get to learn organically. Like, what did I miss out on? What are some of my holes in that first round? How can I adjust? Right, and I think that translates directly to competition. Yes, definitely. Right? So I think that's really cool. Um, now, how often, Jesse, do you guys have these events? I try to do it every four to six weeks. Um, I'll usually look at like kind of the 
the fight, what fight schedules are coming up and try to place it around when people have fights. Um, selfishly, sometimes it's like we try to place it around when our fighters are fighting so it makes sense for them because it's a lot, as much as it is about growing the women's community, it's also about growing our women's team. Um, so typically, I would say four to six weeks. Okay, and uh, typically where are the events held? They're always at 63 Sprague Street at Hard Knocks um, in Hyde Park. Okay, and if somebody wanted to look more into you know, the women's sparring group or they wanted to maybe be a part of one of the future events, what's the best way? Yeah, so I would say you can either um, DM the Hard Knocks Instagram, so Hard Knocks Boston, or you can direct, uh, DM me directly, which is PB and Jay Lee, um, also on Instagram. Very cool. And then the final question for you here is that, you know, you've grown this, you know, originally out of a necessity, you know, for competition, but now it's grown into quite a, quite a community that's very supportive, right, for um, a lot of women who compete in the New, New England area. Um, what do you think, you know, the, the, the continued goal is going to be for the women's sparring group? For us, I think just always getting more females, but also making it so that there's more beginners that feel like they can feel comfortable sparring here. It doesn't I think this time has been really awesome because a lot of them were super, super new and I think they realize that it's a safe space for them to practice kicking someone for the first time or punching someone for the first time or being comfortable being punched because that's sometimes really scary. Um, so I think one that's great to see more females trying out Muay Thai, um, but also seeing that like in, if you're coming from a different state that you don't have to be the only gym in that state training, you can find someone in Massachusetts to train with, you can cross train and that it's okay to cross train with different gyms. Very cool. Well, I do want to thank Jesse again for the hospitality. If you guys want more information about the women's sparring group, Jesse, where can they find you again? You can find me at PB and J Lee on Instagram or the Hard Knocks Boston Instagram. Check it out. It's a great community. Um, with that, please hit the like and subscribe button. This is Albie T and Jesse Lee. Cool. Thanks for watching.